Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're going to talk about some of the safest, most comfortable and effective gas masks on the market which is available to civilians. These are made by a company out of Italy called Mestel Safety Equipment. They provide their products to militaries and police services around the world. This is a company who has its roots in making diving equipment, self-contained breathing apparatuses so they absolutely know their stuff their products meet or exceed all international safety standards they are very ergonomic and thus easily deployed by the civilian population in a shtf incident so let's get to the review all right so before we get into the breakdown i just want to say all the masks in this video are available at canadianpreparedness.com we offer some of the best prices possible on these products they are all brand new and in their packaging you never know what you're getting online but with us you can guarantee that you're getting a brand new product including filters with the furthest expiration dates possible i'm also going to throw in a 10 percent discount code for my viewers enter the code gas mask and that'll give you 10 percent off contrary to traditional gas masks which have been commonly criticized as being only for the sole purpose of completing a mission and not to keep you alive long term. These next generation gas masks are battle tested and built to withstand and protect you from the rigors of an SHTF environment which is ridden with nuclear biological chemical or radiological contaminants for extended durations. All right, so we should first talk about why a gas mask is important if you are a survivalist. Everybody is familiar with the iconic image of the guy walking around the post-apocalyptic wasteland with a gas mask on. That really is the image people get when they imagine a prepper in their minds. But why? Well, there's actually a very good reason. And it goes back to the rule of threes. Three minutes without air, three days without water, and three weeks without food. You don't need a gas mask until you need one, and when you do, it's the only thing you need at that point in time. Your life will absolutely depend on it. Gas mask's primary role is for CBRN defense, which is an abbreviation for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats. Depending on the type of filter you use and the other accessories and apparels that you don with the gas mask, that's going to determine what you are able to protect yourself from. Some of the main uses are going to be protection against tear gas. If there are riots or if people try to use tear gas against you, you will be protected from this debilitating agent. On the flip side of this, there's also a benefit to the wearer if you are taking the offensive and you yourself deploy tear gas. You, of course, would be immune to that tear gas, giving you a significant advantage over the battlefield. It'll also protect you from airborne viruses much better than half face respirators which leave your eyes to be exposed or even antiviral face masks which we also sell at canadianpreparedness.com although those will inactivate viruses they don't offer the full face protection of the gas masks that we're going to review here of course those are offered at a significantly lower and more affordable price point and are indeed better than nothing if there were meteorological threats like volcanic activity or forest fires although this is not going to prevent uh, carbon monoxide inhalation it is going to prevent smoke inhalation which is going to make it much easier for you to evade that situation masks like this also serve a function for industrial and agricultural purposes if you're doing chemical spraying or if you're using chemicals in industrial setting these masks are engineered to protect you from those vapors. In addition, this is going to prevent you from ingesting alpha and beta radioactive particles, which will be exponentially more lethal if ingested. If you want to fully protect yourself against alpha and beta radiation, you're going to need a hazmat suit. This is going to keep your skin protected and avoid contamination with your clothing. We will be stocking these suits soon at CanadianPreparedness.com. In conjunction with your CBRN certified gas mask and your hazmat suit, you should also get yourself some potassium iodide tablets. These are going to prevent your thyroid gland from absorbing radiation, thereby minimizing the chance of radiation sickness. Generally speaking, they are providing respiratory protection from gases, vapors, and particulate matter. They're not going to protect you against gamma radiation. The only thing that can protect you against that is lead or very thick concrete walls. Now the one thing that these two variations of the mask 
that I'm going to show you today lack is their ability to uh, protect against mustard gas. While the visors, the valves, and the filters are all mustard gas proof, it is the gasket that surrounds the mask that I'm going to be showing you on the video today, which have been shown to be ever so microscopically permeable to the effects of mustard gas. But I do think that the likelihood of mustard gas being employed is going to be very, very small. I can tell you that without the mask, this is damn near unbearable and I'm probably gonna pass out. So I gotta get out of here. But yeah, the mask definitely works. Now there are two main gas mask platforms that I'm gonna share with you today. One is the SGE 150. This is an escape and evasion mask strictly for you to get out of Dodge. It's not for dallying around with a machine gun like the SGE 400 slash three is. That one has three 40 millimeter ports, which is going to allow you a variety of different configurations for mounting the gas mask filter, which will allow you to have a firearm and is going to expand the amount of filters you're able to use at once, which will increase the duration in which you can respire in a situation where there are contaminants present. The masks I'm going to show you today also offer general face protection from flying debris. The polycarbonate ballistic face shield can withstand a 6.3 caliber bullet at 150 meters per second or 335 miles an hour. The urban prepper when reviewing this mask demonstrates this when he hurls a ball bearing at the mask at very full speed. So if you were in a riot situation and things were flying all around, this would absolutely uh, protect you from that flying debris. Now, like I said, the Ocean Reef parent company of Mestel Safety Gas Masks has an extensive experience in making diving equipment. So if anybody understands the art of ingress protection, it's the people who are making breathing apparatuses which need to function at exceptional depths and under a lot of pressure. So these people know what they're doing, which is why they meet or exceed military or civil defense requirements around the world. Now, some of the key features of this mask is that it's a one piece full visor. It's scratch proof. There's a silicon face seal, which really hugs your face. It forms a very tight seal around my face, even with the little bit of stubble that I have on my face at all times. There are three filter ports on the mask, so if you wanted to use this with a firearm, it is compatible with both left and right handed shooting. Or if you just wanted the filter in the most comfortable place, which would be in the center, in the lowest center of gravity, not impeding your field of vision, then you have that option as well. The masks that we sell are primarily for escape and evasion, so they don't have the drinking device or the microphone, but we do offer hooded versions. And if people are really wanting the diaphragm, compatible or microphone compatible version which is going to allow your voice to be heard from a much greater distance this is going to be important if you're communicating with a team of people under these conditions then we may actually bring that in in the near future there's also models which are drinking device compatible this is going to be very important if you're in a situation where you have to don the mask long term these masks have been tested to be worn for six days in a row without removal. I would hate to be the person who had to do that test. Hopefully they were paid well. I'm going to post a very detailed document in the description that goes over all of the extensive testing that was done on these masks. So if you want more information, check it out. The mask has standard 40 millimeter threads. So a lot of your other gas mask filters are going to work with the mask. We sell two filters at the store. One is plastic and one is metal. Both are gonna protect against pretty much everything. Now, in terms of how the mask fits, it fits exceptionally well. It has a silicon face seal. There's a quick release six point locking head harness. Now the mask offers you a very broad field of view so you can easily identify who is wearing it. The masks are fog proof down to minus 30 degrees and I can attest to this as I demonstrate in the video here in very cold conditions. The mask weighs about 500 grams with no filter. This equates to about 1.1 pounds, which is very light for a full faced gas mask. Like I said, we carry the metal filters which are slightly more durable but they also weigh a bit more and we also carry the plastic filters which are slightly less durable but weigh a lot less. So the company boasts that because of the full face visor feature of this mask, it's the visor that bears the load 
of all the accessories and the gas canister, not the rubber. Traditional gas masks are comprised of a load-bearing rubber structure, and there's usually the two sealed eyepieces and all of the other weight of the accessories, which is pulling at the mask. So it's actually impacting the mask's ability to secure a tight seal. So this mask has been tested under a variety of different physical conditions where they have the movers do various uh, exercises to ensure that the mask is maintaining a tight seal even under the stress of intense physical movement. All components of this mask including the respiratory assembly, the exhalation valve, the exhalation membrane, the oral nasal unit, and the fixing rim and strap have all been designed to be as ergonomic as possible, in many cases to aeronautical or aerospace requirements. Now the oral nasal part of the mask, that's the part that's going to come into contact with your nose and parts around the mouth. It was designed to be very comfortable and worn for long periods of time. They use a medical grade silicone rubber which is specifically designed to be in contact with the human skin. Uh, for prolonged periods of time and not have any irritation. The face seal of this mask is incredibly solid. It immediately hugs all the contours of your face and if you do make the mistake of leaving all the valve caps on, which I've made the mistake of doing in my testing before, uh, you're going to quickly start to suffocate uh, immediately when you put this thing over your face even if it's not that tightened. It's that much of a snug fit. This is a very, very high quality engineered mask and it's worth every penny. What I would recommend doing with a mask like this um, is sealing it in some kind of mylar bag. I wouldn't suggest vacuum sealing it because that might affect the form factor of the mask. It might shrink or crease certain parts of the mask. So I wouldn't advise doing that. But if you want to store this for long term use, but you also want it to be immediately accessible in the case of emergency, it might be a good idea to put it inside some kind of mylar bag. I don't have mine in that right now. I'm just thinking for those of you who are concerned about the degradation of the materials. Generally speaking, it's going to take decades for the polycarbonate and silicon to degrade to a point where it's not useful to you anymore. So if you want a state of the art next generation gas mask, uh, you can trust in the SGE 400 slash three. You can get it right now from CanadianPreparedness.com. Like I said, be careful about where you're trying to buy these online. Uh, the manufacturer is pretty strict with regards to their minimum advertised pricing. So if you see it advertised lower than that, it may be that it's used or it's refurbished or it's some sort of knockoff. So you're definitely going to want to get the real deal. And you can just tell by looking at all the various dimensions of this design that this is uh, designed uh, for professionals. This is designed for military, law enforcement, riot police. This is the gas mask you want if you're preparing for SHTF. So go check it out. Let me know if you have any questions in the description below. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.